In this script, we'll delve into the life of the beloved actress and later princess Grace Kelly. Before Grace Kelly became a royal figure, she had a successful film career and was known for her romantic connections in Hollywood. We'll focus on her relationships with co-stars and married men before her marriage to Prince Rainier Roman III. One particular incident involving one of her famous lovers will be highlighted. So, stay tuned, hit the thumbs up icon to show your support, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating stories about classic Hollywood. Now, let's journey back to Hollywood's golden age and explore the romantic life of Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly, a talented and determined young woman, moved to New York in 1948 to pursue her dream of becoming an actress. Leaving behind her affluent family in Philadelphia, she enrolled at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, much to the dismay of her family who hoped she would get the acting thing out of her system. Despite the skepticism of those around her, Kelly was committed to her craft and worked tirelessly to hone her skills. She began her career on the stage, appearing in a number of Broadway productions before making the transition to film. Kelly's big break came in 1952 when she was cast in the film High Noon alongside Gary Cooper. Her performance in the film was well received and helped to launch her career in Hollywood. Over the next few years, Kelly became one of the most sought after actresses in Hollywood, appearing in a string of successful films such as Magambo, Rear Window, and To Catch a Thief. She quickly gained a reputation for her elegant and sophisticated style, both on and off the screen. Despite her success, Kelly never lost sight of her roots and remained grounded throughout her career. She was known for her professionalism and dedication to her craft, and her work continues to be celebrated and admired by audiences today. Grace Kelly, while studying at the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in New York, began a relationship with her married instructor, Don Richardson. Richardson described Kelly as rapacious about getting famous and being important. This relationship was a significant one for Kelly, as it was during this time that she began to pursue her dream of becoming a famous actress. Despite the controversy surrounding their relationship, Kelly's determination and drive to succeed in the acting world were evident even then. Grace Kelly, the renowned actress, was in a relationship with Prince Ali Khan during her time with actor Ray Millane. Before that, she had turned down a marriage proposal from the Shah of Iran. Prince Ali Khan, the son of the Aga Khan Roman III, met Grace Kelly in 1955 during the filming of To Catch a Thief in the French Riviera. The two quickly became close, with the prince frequently visiting the set to see Kelly. Their intimate relationship was reflected in a gift from Khan to Kelly, an emerald bracelet which she wore often and was seen as a symbol of their connection. Although Kelly and Khan's relationship was serious, it was not without its challenges. Khan was already married, and his wife refused to grant him a divorce. Despite this, Kelly and Khan continued to see each other, and there was talk of marriage. However, this was not to be, as Kelly's career continued to take off, and Khan's personal life remained complicated. Despite the end of their relationship, Kelly's time with Prince Ali Khan remained a significant chapter in her life. It showed a different side of the actress, one that was not just focused on her career, but also on her personal life. The emerald bracelet she received from Khan became a cherished possession and a reminder of the intimate relationship they once shared. Grace Kelly's breakout role came in the 1952 film High Noon, where she starred alongside Gary Cooper. The film was a major success, winning four Academy Awards and becoming a favorite among several U.S. presidents. However, it also faced criticism from figures like John Wayne, who criticized its perceived un-American spirit. Despite the controversy, High Noon solidified Kelly's status as a rising star in Hollywood. Her on-screen chemistry with Cooper was undeniable, and their performances were praised by critics and audiences alike. Kelly and Cooper's relationship extended beyond the camera as the two developed a close friendship during the filming of High Noon. Despite their age difference, Kelly was just 22 at the time. While Cooper was 50, they shared a mutual respect and admiration for each other as actors. In interviews, Kelly often spoke fondly of her time working with Cooper, citing him as a mentor and a major influence on her career. She credited him with teaching her valuable lessons about acting and the film industry, and she cherished the memories of their time together on set. Years after High Noon, Kelly and Cooper's friendship continued to be a topic of interest among fans and industry insiders. Although they never worked together again, their brief collaboration left a lasting impact on both of their careers and on the world of cinema as a whole. Despite the passing of time, the legacy of High Noon 
and the relationship between Grace Kelly and Gary Cooper continues to resonate with audiences today. The film remains a classic of the Western genre, and Kelly's performance is still regarded as one of her most iconic and enduring roles. The friendship between Kelly and Cooper serves as a testament to the power of mentorship and the enduring impact that a single film can have on the careers of those involved. In 1953, Grace Kelly worked with Clark Gable on the film Magambo in Kenya. This professional relationship turned into a brief romantic affair while they were filming in a secluded environment. Kelly developed strong feelings for Gable and became clingy, which led to Gable distancing himself from her. Their affair ended, but the experience remained a significant one in Kelly's life. She learned from the relationship and moved forward in her career, becoming one of Hollywood's most celebrated actresses. Grace Kelly, the famous actress, started dating fashion designer Oleg Cassini in the 1950s. Their relationship had a significant impact on Kelly's style as Cassini transformed her into a true fashion icon. However, their relationship was not without controversy. Kelly's parents disapproved of the relationship due to Cassini's Russian roots and his past divorces. Despite the disapproval of her parents, Kelly and Cassini continued their relationship. However, it ultimately came to an end amid rumors of a terminated pregnancy. The exact circumstances surrounding the end of their relationship are not fully known, but it is clear that it was a difficult and emotional time for both Kelly and Cassini. Despite the challenges and controversies of her relationship with Cassini, Kelly's career as an actress continued to thrive. She became known for her elegant and sophisticated style, both on and off the screen, and her legacy as a fashion icon continues to this day. Grace Kelly, the famous actress, had a brief romance with John F. Kennedy before his political career took off. The two had met through mutual friends and quickly started spending time together. One notable event in their relationship was when Kelly visited Kennedy in the hospital after he had back surgery. To keep their relationship private, she disguised herself as a nurse and visited him in secret. Their romance was short-lived, however, as Kennedy's political aspirations began to take precedence over their relationship. Despite the end of their romantic involvement, the two remained friends throughout their lives. Kelly's visit to Kennedy in the hospital has been a topic of interest for many as it highlights the lengths that the actress went to in order to keep their relationship private. At the time, Kennedy was a rising political star and any negative attention could have derailed his career. Overall, while Kelly and Kennedy's romance was short, it was an important part of both of their lives. Their relationship was just one aspect of Kelly's rich and varied life, which also included a successful acting career and a royal marriage. Grace Kelly and Ray Mullane's relationship during the filming of Dial M for Murder in 1954 caused quite a stir in the media and among the public. The two actors who played a husband and wife in the movie were rumored to be having an affair on set. This news came as a shock to many as both Kelly and Mullane were married to other people at the time. Kelly, who was 24 years old and at the height of her career, was criticized heavily in the press for her behavior. The media portrayed her as a home wrecker and her reputation took a hit. Her affair with Mullane even led to calls for her to be blacklisted in Hollywood. Mullane's marriage was also put to the test because of the affair. His wife, Mala Powers, was devastated by the news, and the couple's relationship was strained as a Risu lieutenant Mullane's career was also affected, as the negative publicity surrounding the affair made it difficult for him to find work. Despite the backlash, Kelly and Mullane continued to deny the rumors of their affair. However, the damage had already been done, and their reputation suffered as a Risu lieutenant in the end, both Kelly and Mullane's marriages ended in divorce, further fueling speculation about their relationship. The scandal surrounding Grace Kelly and Ray Mullane's affair serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of mixing personal and professional relationships. While the affair may have been exciting and scandalous at the time, the long-term consequences for both actors were severe. This incident serves as a reminder of the importance of maintaining professionalism on set and keeping personal relationships separate from work. Grace Kelly's relationships often intertwine with her roles, creating complex dynamics that blurred the lines between her on-screen and off-screen life. One such interaction was with Bing Crosby during the filming of The Country Girl and High Society. In The Country Girl, Kelly played an unhappily married woman caught in a love triangle between Crosby and William Holden's characters. The film's intense emotional scenes created a unique bond between Kelly and Crosby. 
However, the atmosphere on set was not always harmonious as Kelly and Crosby reportedly had disagreements over their characters' motivations and actions. Their on-screen dynamic was further complicated by Kelly's real-life relationship with Prince Rainier III of Monaco. During the filming of High Society, which reunited Kelly, Crosby, and Frank Sinatra, rumors circulated that Crosby had romantic feelings for Kelly. Although Crosby denied these rumors, they added another layer of complexity to the already convoluted relationships on set. Despite these complications, Kelly and Crosby maintained a professional demeanor throughout the filming of both movies. They respected each other's talents and worked together to create memorable performances that captivated audiences. In High Society, Kelly played a socialite who must choose between her ex-husband, played by Sinatra, and her current fiancé, C.K., Dexter Haven, portrayed by Crosby. The film's musical numbers and light-hearted tone provided a stark contrast to the heavy emotional drama of The Country Girl. Kelly's relationships during the filming of these movies created a unique dynamic that mirrored the on-screen love triangles. While the real-life relationships did not directly influence the film's narratives, they added depth and complexity to the characters and the actors' performances. Overall, Grace Kelly's relationships with Bing Crosby during the filming of The Country Girl and High Society provide a fascinating glimpse into the interplay between an actor's personal and professional life. These experiences shaped Kelly's career and contributed to her enduring legacy as a talented and captivating actress. In 1955, after the Oscars where Marlon Brando won Best Actor, Bing Crosby discovered actress Grace Kelly in bed with Brando, adding to her history of high-profile liaisons. Grace Kelly, who was already a prominent actress at the time, had a relationship with Marlon Brando, a well-known actor in Hollywood. The two shared a connection that lasted for a brief period, during which they were often seen together at various events. Grace Kelly was born on November 12, 1929, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. She began her acting career on stage before transitioning to the big screen. Kelly gained fame for her roles in films such as Rear Window, To Catch a Thief, and Dial M for Murder. Her acting prowess earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in The Country Girl in 1954. Her relationship with Marlon Brando was just one of many high-profile liaisons that Kelly had throughout her life. She was also rumored to have been involved with other famous actors like James Dean and Cary Grant. Despite these rumors, Kelly managed to keep her personal life relatively private, focusing more on her acting career. In 1956, Grace Kelly married Prince Rainier III of Monaco, ending her acting career and becoming a real-life princess. The two remained married until her death in 1982 from a stroke. Despite her short acting career, Grace Kelly's impact on Hollywood is still remembered today as she is considered one of the most iconic actresses of her time. Actress Grace Kelly is best known for her elegant beauty and remarkable acting skills. She starred in several successful films during her career, one of which was To Catch a Thief where she worked alongside Cary Grant. Their relationship during the filming evolved into a lasting friendship, and Cary Grant himself praised her as his favorite co-star, even over the highly esteemed Ingrid Bergman. Grace Kelly's career took off after she starred in the critically acclaimed film Rear Window in 1954. She went on to appear in several more successful films, including To Catch a Thief in 1955, The Country Girl in 1954, and High Society in 1956. Her on-screen presence was magnetic, captivating audiences with her poise, charm, and talent. In To Catch a Thief Grace, Kelly played the role of Frances Stevens, a wealthy American tourist on the French Riviera. Cary Grant starred as John Roby, a retired jewel thief who is suspected of a new string of robberies. Their chemistry on set was undeniable, and they developed a strong bond during the filming process. Cary Grant, who was already an established actor by the time he worked with Grace Kelly, was impressed by her talent and professionalism. He later claimed that she was his favorite co-star, which was quite a statement considering the other notable actresses he had worked with in the past. After To Catch a Thief Grace, Kelly continued to have a successful acting career, starring in numerous films, including The Swan and High Society. However, her life took a surprising turn when she decided to retire from acting at the age of 26. In 1956, she married Prince Rainier III of Monaco, becoming the Princess of Monaco. Despite retiring from acting, Grace Kelly's legacy as an actress continues to live on. Her exceptional talent, grace, and beauty have left a lasting impression on the world of film and entertainment. 
Grace Kelly, the renowned actress, worked with Frank Sinatra in her final film, High Society. Their professional relationship rekindled a connection from earlier in their careers, and it is alleged that this reunion led to an affair between the two. This affair was said to have continued even after Kelly's marriage to Prince Rainier of Monaco. Kelly and Sinatra had first worked together in the 1948 film Anchors Oig, and their chemistry was evident from the start. In high society, they played love interests, which further fueled the rumors of their off-screen romance. The affair, if true, would have been a significant one, as both Kelly and Sinatra were already married at the time. However, the details of this alleged affair remain unconfirmed, and it is not clear how long it lasted or what impact it had on their personal and professional lives. Despite the rumors, Kelly's marriage to Prince Rainier remained strong, and the couple went on to have three children together. Meanwhile, Sinatra continued his successful career in music and film. The relationship between Grace Kelly and Frank Sinatra in high society remains a fascinating topic for fans of both actors. Whether or not their on-screen chemistry translated into a real-life romance, their work together in the film remains a testament to their undeniable talent and charisma. Grace Kelly, the renowned American actress, married Prince Rainier III of Monaco in April 1956, following a year-long courtship that began at the Cannes Film Festival. The couple had met when Prince Rainier was attending the festival in an official capacity, and Grace Kelly was there promoting her latest film, The Country Girl. Their relationship quickly became serious, and after a whirlwind courtship, the couple announced their engagement in January 1956. However, before the wedding could take place, Grace Kelly had to undergo premarital fertility tests to ensure that she could bear heirs to the throne of Monaco. These tests were a requirement of the Mongask law, and Grace Kelly willingly complied. The wedding ceremony was a grand affair, attended by dignitaries and celebrities from around the world. The bride wore a stunning gown designed by Academy Award-winning costume designer Helen Rose, and the groom looked dapper in his military uniform. The wedding mass was held at the Cathedral of Our Lady Immaculate in Monaco, and the couple exchanged vows in front of a crowd of 700 guests. Following the wedding, Grace Kelly became known as Princess Grace of Monaco, and she dedicated herself to her new role as a wife and future mother. She quickly adapted to her new life in Monaco, learning the language and customs of her new country. But she also became a patron of the arts and an advocate for various charitable causes. The couple went on to have three children Princess Caroline, Prince Albert, and Princess Stephanie. Despite the challenges that came with being a part of a royal family, Grace Kelly remained committed to her role as a wife and mother, and she continued to be a beloved figure in Monaco until her untimely death in 1982. In conclusion, Grace Kelly's marriage to Prince Rainier III of Monaco was a significant event in her life, marking the beginning of a new chapter in her career and personal life. The premarital fertility tests, while a requirement of Mongast law, were a testament to the couple's commitment to each other and to the future of the monarchy. The wedding itself was a grand affair, attended by dignitaries and celebrities from around the world, and Grace Kelly's transition to life as. Grace Kelly, the beloved actress known for her roles in movies like Rear Window and To Catch a Thief, died in 1982 in a tragic car accident. The accident was caused by a stroke she experienced while driving, which led to the unfortunate event. Kelly's passing was a significant loss to the film industry, and her funeral was attended by over 400 people, including many of her friends, family, and colleagues. One of the most notable attendees was her friend and fellow actor, Jimmy Stewart, who gave a heartfelt eulogy in her honor. The funeral was a solemn occasion, with many of those in attendance reflecting on Kelly's life and career. Her contributions to the world of film were significant, and she left behind a legacy that continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Despite the sadness of the occasion, Kelly's funeral was also a celebration of her life and the many joyful moments she brought to those around her. Through her work in film, she was able to bring happiness and entertainment to people all over the world, and her legacy continues to live on through her many fans and admirers. Overall, Grace Kelly's death was a tragic loss, but her life and career continued to be a source of inspiration and enjoyment for people everywhere. Her funeral was a fitting tribute to a woman who brought so much joy and beauty into the world. Grace Kelly, an actress who captured hearts in Hollywood and Monaco left a lasting impact on both worlds. Known for her elegant beauty and refined acting style, she quickly rose to fame in the 1950s. Born in 1929, Grace Kelly grew up in a prominent family in Philadelphia. After trying her hand at modeling and acting in New York, she made her way to Hollywood. 
In just a few short years, she became a sought-after actress, appearing in films like Rear Window, To Catch a Thief, and High Society. Grace Kelly's romantic history is well documented. She had a highly publicized romance with French actor Jean-Pierre Aumont and was also linked to actor Ray Mullane. However, it was her whirlwind courtship and marriage to Prince Rainier III of Monaco that truly captured the world's attention. Their fairy tale wedding took place in 1956 and Grace Kelly became Her Serene Highness Princess Grace of Monaco. The couple had three children together, Caroline, Albert, and Stephanie. As a princess, Grace Kelly continued to make an impact, using her position to promote arts and culture in Monaco. She also became an advocate for road safety after a tragic car accident took the life of her daughter, Stephanie. Despite her new role as a princess, Grace Kelly never forgot her acting roots. However, her transition from Hollywood to Monaco sparked debates about her acting career and her status as a princess. Some critics argued that she had given up her career for a royal title, while others saw her as a symbol of elegance and sophistication. Grace Kelly's legacy continues to this day. Her films remain popular and her style and grace are still admired by many. Her impact on Hollywood and Monaco is undeniable and her story continues to inspire and captivate.